Homegrown Radio. Hello, hi, my name is Tolo, hashtag Hope for the Nation. This is Soul Cafe, we are back, and yes, sir, I am with the one, the only, Dimakasa Makadi! Yay! Yes! <laughs> how are you doing, my darling? I'm great, and how are you? Oh, I am Jovian. <laughs> Fabulous city fair. I'm so happy to be at homegrown. Yeah, yeah. welcome. Like, yeah, like I feel like I'm a homegrown cafe. No, you are. Yeah. Everything that is bound to to grow, it's it has to be here. Definitely. You know, we start from the ground and we evolve and we go up there. And that's where I'm seeing you. Thank you so hey, much. Hey, I can see you well. I, I want can, us to talk. Oh, I I actually want us to have a these lights, man. The future is too bright. <laughs> I know that thing, it's too bright, but we need to see each other's eyes because today we are sharing about a very sensitive topic. Yet people think that they know about it. You know, HIV is out there, and at the same time, people are so scared of it, and there's a stigma, and there's a whole lot of conspiracies about it. So here with us we having Timakata Mogodi, who has been living with the disease for 20 whole years. She's got so many titles to her name. We'll talk more about that towards the end of the show. Now we're focusing on the HIV issue. So, Harkeneta <laughs> Bemusad. Bagati inside. We're ready. Yeah, we're ready now. So I wanted to know. How was your reaction when you found out that you HIV positive? How did you even find out? Did you just wake up in the morning and like, I'm going to test and you know? Hey, okay. So I'm going to try and cut it short. Yeah. Ne? Mm -hmm. For the sake of time. Mm. So what happened is that I was at school. I was studying, uh, doing drama. Mm. And we had this teacher who used to say, you must take care of ourselves and what, 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 mm. you know? And whenever you feel something strange in your body, don't sit, yeah. go and consult, get mm. to the doctor. So I had solemn glands okay. for some strange reason. Mm. Yeah, I used to have, oh, they're gone. Wow. <laughs> wow. So I had solemn glands at the time. So mm. I was like, okay, let me go check what these glands are. Oh, no, no. Because they were not sore or anything. So I went and I checked and then the doctor said, you know what, maybe you should do an HIV test. Yeah. Okay. Then he sent me to uh, back then, 20 years ago. Remember, there were no uh, this pricking yeah. things, so you had to go and test and wait. <laughs> so I went to some Joga hospital, I think, mm -hmm. and went to do my test. Waited for like seven to 14 days for my results. Sure. So during the waiting period, mm -hmm. I had to do some self counseling. Yeah. You know, that this the results can come either way. Mm -hmm. You know, they could be positive, they could be negative. Yeah. So I must be ready for any outcome. Yeah. So eventually when they did come out, then they said they are positive. So my reaction to it was already, if I was positive yesterday, this is still me. Yes. You know? So finding out about the results, the positive results, did not change the fact that I am still me. Okay. The exactly. only difference is that now I know that I have HIV and I need to just do things differently. Okay. That was my reaction. <laughs> How old were you, Mike? I was uh, 20 going... Oh, I, I was turning 21 that mm, year. Mm. So, like, and I'm actually, this year it will be 21 years in May. Way. I will be living with HIV for 21 years. Look at so you. So, it's full circle. I'm turning 42 mm. this year. Yes. You look 15, Mugel. <laughs> Our generation. If, if there's one thing that HIV gave me, it's a yeah, new leaf in life, you know? Mm. I decided to live, but live responsibly yes but also live my life to the fullest because then i was like i could die anytime mm. but now i know that you know what really i could die anytime exactly. but it could be anything mm. so that's how i live my life sure that's amazing hey so you don't really know how you got it and all that did you just see that lens and um, that's it you know what mm. two 
the chances are that I got it. When I was 19, I got raped. Oh. That's the possibility. Okay. I'm not sure. All right. But also, when I was, when I went to test, I was in a steady relationship. Mm. And we were not condomizing. Oh my God. So that's another possibility. I could have gotten it before mm -hmm. or when I went to test during the time I was in a relationship. Okay. So with HIV, unfortunately, you don't really know. Especially yeah. if like yeah. there's like an incident like rape that mm. happened. You know what I mean? Mm. Because it's at the time we didn't do tests immediately. You couldn't just and also because with rape and the stigma and everything that comes with being Talk raped as it. a woman mm. is that you are at first your reaction to, to rape, which is I didn't think we were gonna go there. Like oh, let's gosh. go. Yeah, let's go. Dive in. <laughs> the the reaction to rape it's maybe I was at fault. Why did I go sure. with this guy? Especially if it's not that rape that somebody finds you in the street and they take you to the bushes. Yeah. When you are being raped by someone you thought you knew. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mm. mean? And you're like, what just happened? Okay, maybe I maybe I was partly responsible yeah. for this to happen. Mm. So then you brush it off and mm. you act like nothing happened. Yeah. So you don't deal with it at the time. So that's what I De how I dealt with the rape issue at yeah. the time when I was 19. Nobody knew. I didn't tell anyone. I didn't mm. tell my parents. It was just something that, that's just happened to me and my little secret. Sure. Until such a time that it came to haunt me 19 years later. Yes. So that's when I dealt. So, but it could have happened then. It mm. could have happened when I was in a mm. relationship. So, hence, even when people said no, this guy infected you. I'm like, I'm not even going to blame the guy mm. because I don't know. Sure. I, chances are I could have infected him. Mm. What I was supposed to do in that relationship, mm. I was supposed to be responsible for my own choices. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that nobody gets blamed for what happens to me. Mm -hmm. The only thing anyone can get blamed for is the person that raped me. Mm. That one took something that didn't belong to him, which I did not consent to. So we can fight that one. Sure. But the one I was in a relationship with, yeah. yes, maybe he didn't tell me. If he was, you know, the responsible thing to do was to tell me. Mm. But he didn't. If he was, I don't know even today. He's dead. Sure. Well, they shot him. He didn't die of HIV. Yes. So I, I still can't you know. You still don't know. So... We're not gonna even try and, and dwell time. on that. Yeah. <laughs> so, what would you say? Like, is the responsibility of a person who is in any other relationship in order for them not to find themselves in a situation whereby they um, contract the disease? What is the response? Let's say you're HIV positive. Mm. I'm HIV negative. Mm. I don't know that you're positive. Mm. What's my responsibility if I'm in any other relationship as an individual? Because why? But now we don't think about this thing, you know? Like guys, you know there's a word in the street that people fear having children more than they fear having HIV. Talk about it! Right? Mm. Like even when people condomize mm. lately, they are mm. not condomizing to prevent themselves from getting exactly. any STDs mm. or HIV. Mm. They are actually condomizing so that there's no child. Yeah. You know, but you know, people think that because Dima is living her great life, yeah. it's easy. It's yes. not. These are not the same. Mm. You know, these are not. It, having to live with a What's this? An incurable disease. Sure. Pills everything. It can be easy. Like, it's tiring. Everything is tiring. I had actually taken a break from talking about HIV for like the past five, seven years. It's been a while. Because I was HIV talk fatigued. Sure. <laughs> yes. Wow. Like, it's, it's tiring. Yeah. You just, like, because it becomes a label as well that, mm. yeah, Dima, mm. the HIV activist. I'm not an activist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just living with HIV. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, anyway, what should people do? Like, yeah. the responsible to, thing to do, guys, mm. is to love yourself. Mm. Like, love yourself enough. 
to protect yourself yeah. if there is something that you don't want. Mm. If you don't want a child, like, you protect yourself exactly. from not having a child. You, exactly. if, if, as a woman, you would go to uh, family, family planning, planning. Mm. you will take your whatever pill or injection, whatever you take yeah. to not have a child because mm. you're like, I'm not ready. Are you ready to live with an incurable disease for the rest of your life? Talk so do, about the, it. do the same thing that Talk you do when you don't want a child. Like protect yourself. Mm. Like insist on having a condom used. Mm -hmm. Insist on going for tests together. Both. Yes. You know? Before the the, the, the is like, done. I know it's easier said than done. Hey, it's rah. easier said than done, Tell guys. Me. Like trust me, I'm not the <laughs> god of responsibility <laughs> <laughs> but that's the responsible thing yeah. to do, honestly yeah. like, there's no other way yeah taking care of yourself and making sure that all the time when you get into a new relationship mm. go and test the bra so okay let's offer him a little bit mm. now you are a married woman i guess yes i'm married Ten years. As many ten years on the 26th uh, April, baby. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I want to know how were you able to disclose your status? Are you guys okay? It's, it's, it's not okay to disclose somebody else's status. Let's focus on you. On mine. So, yes. Were you able to disclose? To your hobby and how did you do it knowing that people usually don't disclose they just get in there hence i wanted us to go to the part where by the, the negative partner what must they do they must mm. be responsible right so now on your side because of you are in a lifelong journey what did you do and hey <laughs> I, I, honestly this is what i have done with any other partner, mm. even before I met my okay. husband. Okay. Okay. When I meet you and you meet me mm. and you have an interest and I do have an interest in you, yeah. The first thing to get out of the way yes. was my status. You know? Mm. Which is not fair because I never got to know other people's statuses. You know. They just knew mine and exactly. I didn't know theirs. But anyway, that was my choice. Exactly. I decided yeah. that's how I'm gonna deal with it. Mm. So I I disclosed to my husband before he became my boyfriend hmm. when i was when we were still talking mm. okay listen bra i'm gonna give you a choice me i'm i'm, I'm good on choice like choice is i will give that to you as a gift mm -hmm. <laughs> so i carry the gift of choice with mm -hmm. me wherever i go mm. so i was like i'm true i'm giving you a choice to be in this if you want to be in this relationship with me or not to be in yes it. Before we even go far, mm -hmm. you know. Mm. So this is my status. I'm living with HIV, and you know, mm. uh, this is how. If you get into this relationship, this is how things are gonna be done. Like you not. I was actually not planning to have a child. We'll get there anyway <laughs> when we. Okay. So there's not gonna be a child coming mm. out of this Why? because I'm protecting you, mm. <laughs> and I want to protect the human being that may or may not you know i don't want to bring a child into this world mm. with me in the this state drama. because mm. i don't even know how long i'm here for mm. so then he was like no it's, it's fine with me honestly but then i'm like we need to know your status if we are going to do this exactly. long term. this was the only guy i was like we need to know your status Rebelling. because i've been with guys Jeez. after mm. and but i never really got to knowing their status yeah so i mean i was being the feeling guilty here all alone and mm. being like hey, now mm. can I say mm. you know what i mean yeah. well, else i don't know we're not a guy into to any what didn't have exactly so he was like no it's fine i'm i'm willing and we went and his results were negative mm. and obviously i was like so since now you know for a fact that your results are negative mm -hmm. are you willing to stay in this mm. with me mm. with my status yes and it's like i'm willing let's go <laughs> okay i loved you for you mm -hmm. not what you come with yeah so that's love at, at its purest that God has granted me. Hmm. 
that's very beautiful that's but also i prayed for it I, yeah I, like i honestly like i was tired yeah of kissing frogs yeah <laughs> 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 hey, Uzo, I, kiss, I, go. I know i was really I'm tired. A froggy. <laughs> and because at the time i was doing a lot of hiv talk mm-hmm. and like you know mm-hmm. i'm this beautiful woman talking about hey i'm good but like there was something missing i missed love yeah the purest love that i'm talking about mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. I-, i wanted to be loved for who i for am who you are and i i actually prayed about yeah. it i was like god listen here you know what hey man is this a punishment now like mpe motho e motse anke e motse but also like you know what just to, to tell a different story I, yeah. i i really wanted to 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 change the narrative that yes. people living with hiv hey 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 there's no love yeah there is love guys you just have to find the right person but now how do you protect your <coughs> husband from contracting hiv okay. i had this this thing about prep yeah. you know so how how exactly do you so my husband is not on prep or okay. any other medication i'm mm-hmm. the only one who's on meds okay yes um, like you guys have been <laughs> so how i protect him is that okay and i guess this is taking us to now ha- as having a child mm-hmm. and and, and yes. obviously so <coughs> excuse me is that i'm on the on my treatment mm-hmm. so when because i take my treatment regularly as and when i'm supposed to yes my viral load yes is undetectable lower than undetectable it's easy it yes it's exactly. suppressed so mm. it's suppressed yes. so for as long as i'm taking like underlying for as long as i'm mm-hmm. taking treatment yes i'm almost the same as somebody who doesn't have please HIV. Oh, repeat that please oh. look at the camera i need you to speak that louder for as long mm-hmm. as i'm on my meds mm. i'm as good as somebody who does not have HIV. hallelujah because my viral load is undetectable it's mm. suppressed it's dormant yes but as soon as i can live like i don't have hiv and mm-hmm. stop taking my meds mm-hmm. viral load shoots up and my cd4 counts let's on they drop mm-hmm. so what med- what the medication does is mm-hmm. that it suppresses the viral load yeah. and it boosts your cd4 count yeah and then you are as healthy as i look and as beautiful as I and ex- as successful <laughs> as she is because you're about to know who she is and here's another thing another point is that the nicest thing is that you have a husband you're not kissing frogs like no baby so for people who are um, still kissing frogs sorry <laughs> <laughs> you know for people who are still maybe not married and you decide to change a partner and stuff reinfection the very infection to to me like that one honestly for as long as you are still kissing frogs mm. like, please just stick to condomizing be careful just stick to taking your medication mm. and like please don't even like don't don't try because mm. like obviously yes you don't know the person that you are engaging with mm. sexually mm. so you don't know them you don't know where they've been you don't know what where they go to you know and even me mm. I'm honestly there's nothing better even when you are married yeah truth is my hey. husband could be going out and doing things, things outside Yo. you know what i mean Yo. i could be going out and doing things outside the one thing that we need to do mm. is to continuously protect each other when you go out and do something think about the other person mm. don't be selfish yes you know so being selfless will make you remain loyal to one partner the, like guys it's, it's overrated it's cheating is overrated there's no need i don't need like no no smally like what in the swimming pool you can't oh you guys like cheating is overrated I let's stop it guys I it's out of fashion mm-hmm. it's outdated can't need the man and then what could you do to be the woman that you are i actually want to tell your viewers who you are business wise yo yeah, let me go get that Let me go get that. Talk to you here about HIV guys. Eh, it okay. is, but at the same time, 
there is something that might have pushed you to be who you are and how, I don't know, I mean, we must talk about the woman that you are. Truth. Because a lot of people, when they talk HIV, they talk, uh, uh, what do you call it? Life, life sentence, death sentence. Death sentence. Do you get it? So now, if you have lived the whole 20 years, it's going to actually help somebody else who just got inf infected today to know exactly who you are. Okay. You know? Honestly, HIV, like I said, mm -hmm. gave me a new leaf in life. Hmm. HIV, the very HIV, was a blessing in disguise for me. Like, I honestly thought, okay, this can't be the end of my life. Exactly. I can't, I can't exit life like this, mm. you know? Yes. I must exit on a very powerful note if I'm going to exit. Yes. So then I decided to venture into business. Okay, tell us more. I, I decided to venture into business. I didn't want to be known as, you know, D, my man, that lady who lived with HIV. HIV. Mm. Eh, eh. I wanted to be remembered as D, my, the icon of hope. Yes. The lady who beat the odds yes. against HIV and took on everything that came her way like yeah and made it a success hmm. so i started the, the first company i started was mobile creatives consultant which is hmm. still running and we produce radio ads for uh, african uh, radio stations hmm. and then um i then ventured into writing books for children yes so i've got that which is bill literature i write children's story books in african languages i'm very big on african languages mm -hmm. you know because i feel like as black people our children we take them to private schools they About lose it. who they are exactly in like the private school mm -hmm. culture mm -hmm. so at least the book will remind them that a uh, the roots, the roots, mm -hmm. you exactly. know. And then while I was at it, I decided to go into the manufacturing, fashion, and lifestyle. She's wearing her which label, is guys. What you don't I'm understand. now currently pushing. It's called my brand is called J Queen Dog. Yes, man. And I manufacture bags, very hmm. stylish laptop bags, kitties bags, nappy bags, all type of bags. And now I've just recently introduced the fashion line. Hmm. clothes and shoes hmm. so just follow j quindom and you will get to see what we are all about j quindom with the k baby you're the k baby <laughs> i am the yeah, k baby i am the k and the last words to the viewers as we're wrapping up the last words to the viewers is that guys um do not let circumstances define define hmm. who you are hmm. you know they are just but there to reshape who you could be mm -hmm. so you can be anything that you want to be as long as you set your mind to it if you can dream it you can do it ha -la -la. <laughs> if you can dream it you can do it this Thank is you. so cafe we will see you again next time this is your girl tolo hashtag hope for the nation